Hi guys and welcome to Computer Tutorials. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make a calculator using Maxwell Fisher ba Basic 2008 Express Edition. Now, if the sound quality is bad, it's probably because my microphone doesn't work very well. So, we're going to be creating a new project today. A Windows Home application. And the name of it should be called Calculator. I press enter. And you should load a form. So we need to we need the following. Four but we need four buttons and eight, one more. Four buttons, yes. Two text boxes. And a label. So form one. We change form one text to something like calculate, which is a bit like exterminate, you know, on um, Doctor Who. If you're, yeah, no, I don't really watch it, but there you go. And a metro label text e equals zero. So button one with up there, and the text of that should equal plus. Button two, drag that there. The text of that should equal dash. Or minus button three should equal x or type for times button four should equal divide to time which is um a forward slash so I'm gonna make this a bit smaller now we And these to make this a bit longer. And there you go. So now we're going to need. So first we're going to do the plus. We should just double click on the plus sign. So we need to create two new variables. So you say dim, dim num1 as integer. Press enter. Then you say dim num2 as integer and press enter say num num1 equal equals te remember c i capital c capital i n t open brackets text box one dot text num2 equals capital c capital i n t open brackets text box one dot text close brackets there you go now now you can still see now you need to say dim ins as integer press enter and you say ins equals and you need to say open brackets num1 remember this is plus plus num2 close brackets then you're going to now say um, and then we're going to need to say now a label one dot text equals ANS. Now alternatively you can have another text box saying the answer or another label but I'm you can use that instead because what I, I know what some people do is they have a uh, they show what they're doing there, but I'm not going to do that. Y you can if you want; it doesn't matter. So yes, and that's it. Now we need to check. Uh, now we need to do minus. So, uh, double minus. And you say dim. Basically, you know, copy the other, copy the text, um, from here, and until dim, and then just just copy the text that we've t typed up here, or don't t type what um aren't equals num1 plus num2 because we need to change that, that variation of that to one. So paste that and you say name from up there you say ANS equals open brackets num1 minus num2 then you close brackets and then you need to say label one dot text equals ANS so there you go. 
So that's minus, now we need to do times. Now times on a computer is different, quite different from X. As I said, just copy and paste the thing. You need to say A and S equals open brackets, num1. Then you need to do sort of that star type thing. And times by num2. Then close brackets. You need to say label one dot text equals a and s. Then the final one is divide and use that symbol as well. So you say dim in fact no let's got probably paste that part. A and S equals num so open brackets remember num one and then you full slash num two. Close brackets. Press enter. You need to say label one dot text equals a and s now I'm just going to quickly do something that sort of stops them from typing anything into the uh, these text boxes. No, that's not right. I don't type it into the text boxes. That's sorry. That's I don't know what I'm doing here. Eh. <laughs> so there you go. You can always make, make an exit button. I'm not going to bother. So let's test it. So we should just do the basic sum. One plus one was two. And it has a problem here, but that doesn't matter. I think that's probably from my previous. Um, projects doesn't matter. So now we need to do two minus one. Ah, I see. What it's doing is that's why I like debugging. Two plus one equals four. So what you need to do is you basically need to get it to you need to wipe the variables and so basically you need to so, so add on to the end of the text num1 equals that num2 num equals two speech much together now copy copy and paste that control c presents the end of both of the things so it alerts it puts that on there I also recommend you actually just have you say a and s equals that as well. It may not really, but no, ignore that. Don't do that. Now let's test it. See if it works. Please, it's not the most effective way. I'll show you a more effective way in another tutorial. And it's given an error. So never mind. So, um, so my original code was right, but there's a problem with that thing. But there, yeah, so it works as long as you exit the program. So it does it once and that's it. But don't worry, it's not that bad. It's, it's I've done a lot worse, believe me. So, I'm this tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I may try and get a fix of that um, and put it up in, a, in, a, in another video soon. But for now, thank you for watching this tutorial. Future tutorial signing out. Please rate five stars, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.